Hi friends, Sunshine Squirrel here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're a returning viewer or subscriber. I am a veterinarian that loves all things Disney and all things animals and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys five things that you can expect if you are planning to go to Disney in the summer for a vacation trip. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that you can expect at Disney in the summertime is going to be crowds. Uh, the summer season is considered to be one of Disney's peak seasons and it really begins from May all the way through August. Now one of the good things is that there are some season passes that do have some block out times during the summer. So you're not going to get the full force of everyone that can possibly go to Disney, uh, but you are going to have a lot, a lot of people that are down in the parks, you know, schools are closed, people are out of school and work. Um, this is when the weather um, is kind of most permissible um, and it's just the ideal time for a lot of families uh, to go. Um, there's even some, you know, there is still going to be some local traffic as well. Um, so this is a really, really busy time. Um, you definitely, due to the crowds, you know, you're definitely going to want to make sure that if there are certain rides that you really want to hit, uh, that you go ahead and make fast passes for those rides to ensure um, that you're able to get on those attractions. You want to show up for shows um, as well as for any parades um, and things like that way in advance, even more than you would think uh, because of the amount of crowds. And if you are going to be staying on Disney property, take advantage of the fact that you can make your Disney Fast Passes in advance. So definitely make those in advance as soon as possible. And moving right along, uh, the second thing to keep in mind if you are going to Disney in the summer is the heat. Uh, Florida during the summertime, not only are you dealing with the heat, uh, but you're also dealing with the humidity as well. Um, so if you're not an individual that can handle the heat very well, um, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend maybe going in the summertime, or if you can, here are some tips to keep nice and cool. Disney has a wide variety of frosty and cool beverages and snacks like the Dole Whip Float, ice cream, slushies, things like that to help to keep you cool. In addition, our family uh, likes to carry little personal handheld fans. Um, they're really tiny um, and they can easily clip onto your pants or you can just hold them. Um, Disney also sells, as well as other companies, uh, cooling towels and basically you make them wet and then you drape them around your neck or you can tie them around your head and they really, really do help um, to kind of keep the heat away and to keep you cool. Um, also take advantage of rides that are indoor. Um, we tend to not wait in lines during the summertime for rides that are outside. You know, the queue is in the sun. Um, that's really not a good idea. And even for some of the shows, you know, there are some shows that aren't in air conditioning. For example, um, the Beauty and the Beast show is not in air conditioning. So take advantage of the attractions and shows that are in air conditioning. If you want to catch those attractions and shows that maybe aren't um, in air conditioning or out in the sun, try to hit those earlier on in the day before it's the heat of the day or in the evening once things cool down a little bit. And of course, always make sure to drink a ton of water and to stay very well hydrated. All right, moving right along. The third thing that you can expect at Disney during the summertime is special events. Um, including specialty shows and food items. There are a lot of restaurants at Disney that offer specific seasonal menus to summertime. In addition, there's also a lot of specialty items um, such as food and treats and snacks that you can only get during the summertime at Disney. So really take a look at the different dining locations uh, before you go down for your vacation trip. It's super easy to do. Um, if you go to your My Disney Experience app, or if you go to mydisneyexperience.com, uh, you will, can basically look up all the different dining uh, dining options for you at the Walt Disney World Resort, and then you can see the different seasonal menus and different offerings. In addition, keep your eyes peeled uh, because throughout the park you may see uh, signs posted outside of little carts and food stands. Uh, that are advertising for a specialty that's going on. So take time 
to take a look at that. And in addition, there are a lot of specialty shows and attractions that are done during the summertime um, that aren't done during the regular year. And a lot of shows and parades and attractions also have different hours of when they take place because in the summertime, a lot of the hours of most of the theme parks are extended. So it gives you a longer time to be in the park, but it also can change some of the times of your favorite shows. So definitely make sure um, to get a park map every day so you're updated on to uh, the different times or if you're staying um, at a Disney resort you can always turn on uh, your resort's uh, specific channel where they'll display all the daily show times and hours of operation. Alright and the fourth thing that you can expect at Disney during the summertime is thunderstorms. <laughs> Florida during the summertime can be very unpredictable as far as the weather but what I always like to say is it's not a question of if it's going to rain, it's rather a question of when it's going to rain. You can expect a daily thunderstorm to take place pretty much every afternoon, um, typically around lunchtime, early afternoon. It normally though only will last for about one to two at the most three hours, but then by the afternoon, the sun, later afternoon, the sun will be out again and you'll be able to go about your normal Disney uh, visit as planned. However, some tips that I have to combat this is to try not to schedule fast passes in the afternoon for rides that could potentially be closed, such as Slinky Dog um, or any of those outdoor rides like Seven Mine Train. Disney does a pretty good job of keeping rides open as much as possible, um, even if it's just a little bit of drizzle, as long as it's not an actual electrical storm however if lightning is spotted um, in the local area they do have to close some of those rides including even some boat transportation uh, options that go to some of the different resorts so it's definitely something to keep in mind while you're staying there so as a rule of thumb I would always recommend to wear water ready, waterproof shoes when you're at Disney just in case of that afternoon rainstorm and also to carry a light rain jacket with you um, in case you're in the parks when it starts to rain um, just so you won't get really wet or you can always buy one of those always fabulous <laughs> Mickey Mouse uh, slickers at the different stores in the park. But the great thing about the rain is like I said it's very short lived and it can go from torrential downpour to being a very sunny bright day for the rest of the day and a lot of times the rain actually does help to cool things down so believe it or not you may actually welcome the rain as a refreshing way to cool off now the final thing that you can expect at disney during the summertime is going to sound a little weird so just hang on with me <laughs> and i'll explain but it's construction um, it used to be a time when you would go to Disney during the summertime and you could get that perfect shot of the castle and there wasn't those signs up or those boards up that say pardon our pixie dust, there's construction. But nowadays, Disney kind of always seems to be doing construction and renovation and building things up and tearing things down around the park. So during the summertime especially, um, I've really noticed that is when they do a lot of their renovation. So just something to keep in mind, you know, that when you go down in the summertime, there is going to be construction, there's going to be uh, boards up and signs up that you may not be able to walk around all of the areas that you may want to, or like I said, get those perfect shots of the castle in the different areas of the park just because of that construction. Um, I wish that Disney would do some of that construction maybe in the off seasons when it wouldn't be so crowded, but I think part of the issue is just that Disney's just constantly in a state of flux now, so the construction is just going to always be happening. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey as we discuss the different things that you can expect during a family vacation trip in the summertime at Disney. And let me know in the comments below um, if there are other things that I missed um, that you guys think are a definite uh, for a summer vacation trip at Disney and what you thought of the different things that I discussed in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!